All right, and welcome everybody for our next deck today for uh, some Jund midrange. Um, this is a donation deck here where we've played this deck a couple of times, but it's been probably about a week and a half or so. Sorry, I was getting choked up on it. Um, you know, with it being so long. <laughs> uh, but we've had some some good success with this deck uh, previously playing it. You know, it's just kind of filled with rares and mythics you know just across the board basically just good cards like the only thing that's not a rare or a mythic is just branch walker and lava coil <laughs> and we know those cards are good so so yeah we have like some judiths in here that look a little bit out of place without as many creatures but they do a good job of just kind of messing up combat and doing some pinging and everything and work pretty well with rekindling phoenix and uh they're good against um early they're good against aggro decks with those extra ping effects, um, and so that kind of that kind of helps out in getting to like all these planeswalkers that are really powerful. Um, we got a Ravager Worm at the top end. Um, Midnight Reaper helps us keep in our land drops and everything. So kind of just have, uh, you know, it's just a deck filled with good cards, you know, and that's what standards about. Put good cards in your deck. That's step one. Step two, profit. Hey, Buck Chops with the sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for Buck Chops being sub number 40 today. So that means it is pack time. So actually, before we get to this game here, let's crack a pack. Um, we haven't gotten a Dominaria pack in a little bit. Let's get a Dominaria pack. All right, Dominari pack. Let's go. Let's get a Mythic. Mythic Rare. Daring Archaeologist. Okay. I guess that, that looks like a Daring Archaeologist. Just climbing a mountain with, like, no help. I don't really see, like, any archaeology going on. But it's like a Daring Mountain Climber. That's a good question. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, once we have, like, all the cards, like, what are we doing instead of cracking packs open? And I haven't, I haven't thought of anything yet. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the... Well... Yeah, I mean, we could just, like... I guess, pile up the packs for, like, the next set. And just kind of always front load them. But then it's, like... You know, once we have the cards in the next set... Then do we do that again, and so on. Ooh, maybe we're facing Rakdos midrange. A19. Ah, Grixis. I'm gonna get Midnight Reaper in and play as early as possible against Grixis. So do I just activate Incubation Druid, or do I cast Judith Branchwalker? I'll just wait on the Branchwalker. I'm going to play the Judith, get some damage in. Because I, I could have seen them, like, with the two mana up, I could see them, like, cast downing the Reaper and then untapping and, and Ritual Sit if I play the Branchwalker. So I'm going to be a little patient. Yeah, I can play some Deacon, Bo Deacon Blues. Sure can. Meow. 
Where's my Deacon Blues at? There it is. We'll switch out the Steely Dan songs. What? That was rude. Knife. This conniving opponent. Yeah, we're switching Sealy Dan songs. So even if they have a Wrath, we at least put them down to four. Thanks, track team. They haven't seemed like they have a Wrath, though, because they haven't been playing any kind of Wrath effect. Hey, King Toll getting that gifted sub. Get your favorite emotes in the chat there, King Toll. Thank you, Santi Santa P DJ Polly B. Dink and blue. That cast down was really annoying. I wish I I wish I had um which I just kept the the forest in my hand. That was a mistake playing the forest and then having to discard the um oh it still says ten. Right now actually it went back to ten. Thanks, Tyler. Having to discard the Vrasis Contempt. Well, my plan was to just activate the Incubation Druid and then and then play the Rekindling Phoenix. Um, but our opponent stuck the Rekindling Phoenix in our hand. Sweet home. Hmm. This is bad for us. Yeah, the the playing the forest is that's what costs us this game. If I don't play that forest, I think we win. Uh, we would have won earlier, um, but I did play that forest. We gotta do what we gotta do. R really wanna draw Vivian or Vraska. To be able to kill this Niv Mizzet. Uh, should you board a Niv Mizzet in. Is it Drake's against tokens? That's a tough one. I could kind of see either way, you know, like on the one hand. That's probably it's probably a no. I was gonna say on the one hand, Nimizit's not gonna help you stabilize too much because it's 
it's you know really late by by the time turn six happens playing the five five um and then untapping with it yagmas vile offering that is awesome that's what we're gonna be doing later and later on in grixis legends we have niv mizzet and nickel bolus and the yagmas vile offering and everything Maybe we stole this. They don't have anything to cast. They don't have anything to cast. Boom! That's a win. All right, let's get this other Contempt in here, other Vivian, um, the Duresses. Angrath's probably pretty cool. Theater Horrors would be good. Bamboozled. Yeah, I was not expecting to win that one. Thanks, Dan 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 Danel. Dan Danel. Thank you kindly. Um Golgari Queen is out. Um Even Judith did some pretty good stuff for us. I don't think Judith is actually going to be very good in this matchup. Um, the extra ping damage is probably not going to be as useful. I'm going to take two of them out. Hmm... Still 64. I gotta cut four more cards. It's a Chandra mirror. All right, we can we can try this. Sorry, Vivian. I know you're amazing and awesome and everything, but we need some lands. Perfect. Go ahead and just cast this right now, so we can incubation druid. Um, afterwards, and I'll take the Thought Erasure, because Thought Erasure would take the Midnight Reaper. I know Split Flame can just kill my Druid and stuff here. Um, but I like... You know, I, d I don't want my Midnight Reaper to necessarily die right away. Yeah, we did pretty well with the zombie deck. Ooh, I gotta gotta go make a Rectus mid range. I've lost so much already. No one said restoration was painless. Good job, Deck. All right, want to know?
Perfect. All right. Export that as a picture. Making the thumbnail for YouTube. There we go. All right, got that ready to go. So, want to know? Hey, Xavier. Thank you so much for the bits. I'm gonna. I want. I want lands to get towards Vraska, so. Say happy birthday, thanks for the enjoyable streams, and please keep it going. Certainly will. Thank you so much, Xavier. Um, since this is a 12-hour stream and it's your birthday, will we see you take the tie off? Don't think so. Nope, wearing the tie the whole time. I did wear uh, one of my favorite dress shirt and tie combinations. It's nice, nice white white and purple striped shirt white shirt with purple stripes and my favorite purple tie this is my favorite tie that i own yep we we got got the first one so one to know Don't counter my jade light, please. Need to find some lands. Perfect. Good enough for me. Thanks, Carbone. No, I'm not going to be having a Moscow meal to celebrate. No, I'm just streaming, streaming here with y'all to celebrate all day. We'll have some cake later. Oh, no, your arena f froze up on startup. Tilt. I actually expected that to be absorbed here. They put Teferi in the bin. Angel of Grace. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm. Arena just needs antifreeze every now and then. True. If their plan was just to cast down, you think they would just wait, not let me do that one point of damage with the Judith. But we got that extra extra point of damage in. That's rude. Oh, the fine finality. I want to draw lands, deck. I want to get to this Vraska Relic Seeker. I guess our opponent's probably wanting to draw lands as well. Especially black mana for the opponent. Alright, Wilden Cemetery is a good draw. Syncopate would have got me there. I should have just played my land because of Syncopate. How many times did I turn 21? Um, a lot. A, a lot. Been turning 21 for over I a decade know now. My responsibility. Let's take it back. All right. Attack to fairy. You just let me know if you're up for round two. And kill Ascanta. 
And soon you will be left with nothing. Yep, soon you will be left with nothing. Hmm. Well, dresses can come on in here. Let's get the Vivian, uh, Angrath, Theater, Tinder Vines, Spyglass. Do we have 10 cards to take out? I'm taking out Coil. Maybe Incubation Druid? How many lands we got? 26? Yeah, we can probably just kind of hit our land drops without Incubation Druids. Or maybe cut... Cut a couple of these. We'll get rid of one fine finality, get rid of Ravager Worm. Um and two Judiths. I think I like this. Yeah, we we had we had some bad draws with the Rakdos midrange. Uh both of them, you know, were three game sets and both of them we had we had a game, game one against Mono Blue and game two against Jund, where we just drew all lands. And so it, it was rough. But I think the, um, I think the decks are good. But we just... Um. Just had some rough draws. We got our one, one of our two incubation druids here. Good time to have it. I'll take it. We don't really need that thing to survive anyway. Like you know, we got our, got our land drops here for a minute. <laughs> no, the next block will not have fetches. That'd be a terrible decision. I'll just play this Golgari Queen. It's not gonna really do very much. Only its pain is our gain. So the ultimate is at nine. That we can make it so that any one of our creatures that deals damage to the opponent, they're dead. Cool. Don't I'll take that. You know, I'll, I'll take that trade. Wow. Alright, so I know we have the mana for a Relic Seeker, but you know I'm I'm definitely worried about a counter spell. Uh, which is why I did not play the Relic Seeker. Now if they just top deck a counter spell here, you know. That's unfortunate, but I like seeing their hand first and knowing that they didn't have a counter spell before. Next level, next level, or next block's gonna have dual lands. <laughs> uh, do I want to duress here? The I guess so. Needs her crew. Ah, they drew their negate one turn too late. 
Volcanic Island. Underground Sea, next set. Alright, Jund is 2-0. and oh. Jund's doing, doing good here. It's just... It's just a deck filled with good cards. You know? How does Esper Control win? Usually with Teferi. Yeah, like they they're relying on Teferi. Ooh, the black green mirror. I like having these midnight reapers in the black green mirror. Yeah, warrant warden. We saw them have an angel of grace um, in the main deck. So I guess Angel of Grace can kill people. Thanks, Yoshi Man. A chopstick. It's not an easy choice for the opponent right now. Our cards are pretty good. James, thanks for the birthday cheer. Thank you so much. Wait, where is where's my cheer emote? There we go. Um, let's try to hit land drop still. Uh, that's tough. Not land drops. Thanks, Elf. All right, we got some some birthday cake. So we got um, carrot cake, um, caramel cake, and red velvet. So red velvet, carrot, and caramel. Let's start eating some cake. Sound like a hydroid crisis. Ah. So they had cast down for the Jade Light Ranger. Thanks, Cable. I didn't lift the balance comes. We need land drops. 
Our opponent's able to spend a whole lot more mana than us right now. If I get the land drop next turn, I'm going to be able to Lava Coil the Druid and Trophy. It's probably good to Lava Coil the Druid um, now before it turns into a really big creature. Yeah, that's the revealed icon. So our opponent knows about all those things. <sighs> Not no. Oh, okay, this yet. is my cake. My birthday cake. Not your birthday cake. Hawkeye is, um, I don't know his exact age. He's like maybe 12, like 11 or 12, around there. So yeah, they, they definitely want a hostage taker, a Midnight Reaper. So they're saving their hostage taker for that. No, Hawkeye's male. Every fight makes me strong. The wilds are my shield. Got stuck on lands for too long. <laughs> no, I haven't made the, the Hawkeye Cat deck yet. So I was just saying that uh, just this stream that I should should do that. And so no, we haven't had time to make it yet. All right, so Contempt, Angrath, Vivian, Trophy out. Um... Okay, why do you think you're getting my food? Oh, uh, thanks, Nerd Girl. I haven't played an Esper quasi duplicate with Tithe Takers, Deputy Detention, Troops, Hostage Takers. I haven't done that. That does sound pretty fun. But I haven't done that. No. No, Hawkeye. Okay. My food. Um. get theater in here to deal with land flooding, but we, I guess because we're just going to assume we're going to flood next turn, next game. There's a, there's a good amount of cats in standard. You get a Johnny. It will not be very competitive, no. Bump. I can probably win some matches.
All right, so let's hopefully uh, Branch Walker finds us a red source for Phoenix. If we can curve out um, with this hand, this is going to be pretty strong with Phoenix into Vivian. Perfect. Which plane do you want to go to next after Ravnica? Um, if it was an old set, I like I did like Tarkir a lot. I, I really liked Kanza Tarkir. Um, but last time we were on Tarkir, they had fetch lands though. That's that's the problem there, and I don't want to go to. I don't want to have fetches with shock lands. Um, so yeah, don't don't want to do that. Theros was really good. I liked Theros a lot. Yeah, I love Theros. Hey, Angel, thank you. And Dirk as well. Thanks for the birthday wishes. They have so much mana. So much mana. I think trading a branch walker for a land werewolf is, is perfectly fine. Basically make branch walker stone rain them. We've got company. I'm sorry. Were you using that? That's our card. All right, we're gonna need a reset Let's here. Let's see if you're worthy. It's getting no kind of laggy. No one knows the wilds like I do. Oh, okay. Um, have a slice of caramel cake and a slice of carrots cake and a slice of red velvet. I always survive. You'll see. My crew Thanks, is the finest in the seas. That was not a good last card for them to have, a Contempt. We gotta find our own Contempt. Probably okay. We get to steal the Incubation Druid and attack their Vraska with it. It's probably better than a random card. Um, King Toll, I guess it's just, it's just, uh, you know, it's a counter spell to play early. I guess that's why we have the Quench in there. So, the Historic Jeskai deck, see how it's, it's DD here, it's a donation deck, that means it's not a deck I put together. So, donation decks are not decks that, that I built. So, that's a, that's a Zerf deck, you'd have to ask why he's playing Quench there, but... The Quench was, was was honestly pretty, pretty okay with us, because, you know, like, that. basically you're wanting to play a lot of... A lot of that deck at instant speed. And, you know, gives you something. Gives you something to do there at instant speed.
Yeah, uh, link, link for the deck list is exclamation point deck. For my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Hmm. So, obviously I can Lava Coil there, and then make sure Vraska dies, but one Show small no problem mercy. with that is... Um, see, I'm, I'm just going to do it now. One small problem with that is that... No fire! No then they just steam. don't block with their Land War Elf, and then Land War Elf would kill my Angrath. So I, I did take two damage I didn't need to. Empty-handed. Sorry, Hawkeye. You're not getting the cake today. You best start or any thinking day. fast. You're on your own. Okay. We've drawn a whole lot more lands than the opponent, so hopefully they start drawing some lands to catch up to, with us. You know, we have three extra lands out here. And that's what happened. Our opponent drew some more lands to catch up to us. And I'm not sure what they're going to draw here. I guess they need, like, Krasis. Krasis could maybe keep them alive for a little bit. Okay. Game three. I kind of want dr some duresses. Take their Planeswalkers. No. No, not gonna do it. The same vein of like the mid range battles. These mid range battles, how they um, how they go long and everything, and can result in top deck wars. If we're in a top deck war, I don't want to be top decking duresses. Why not mulligan this hand? Um, I liked liked how it had four lands and it had good mana. Um, and again, in these these kind of matchups, mulligan can be pretty tough. Um, you can uh, you know you can mulligan to to get pretty bad hands um, and everything and. I think just just having that seven is is good enough. Um, it's not like the game doesn't usually end right away, and I think just having seven cards over six is is pretty valuable. It's 
So I wanted to, to, to exile the Krasis so if they have fine get finality, they can't get Krasis back. I don't want them getting Krasis back at all. So that's why I went with the Contempt there. Ha. I've seen worse. Thanks, Vampiric. Glad to have you here. It's not like having plays like immediately on turn two and is like really, really important uh, in this matchup. Uh, turn three, of course, by then you, you certainly want to be doing something. Um, but you know, we'd had three draw steps to find, find any of our cards to do before turn three. There being on the draw. Alright. I don't think they're gonna finality, so let's just go ahead and get both druids out. We wanna draw our planeswalkers. Come on, planeswalkers. Thanks, Iris Squashy. This is Help I'm Alive by Metric. Alright, what do we got? Oh, really? This song's always playing? That's weird. Maybe it's like your your intro song. How that you can't stop nature. Not bad. For a mouse. So they've drawn some lands and now they have planeswalkers, so they are ahead now. We need to draw more planeswalkers. Come on, deck. More planeswalkers, please. What's my best kill in arena? I, I don't remember. I don't know, but what do you have? So you once killed your opponent, uh, who was a mono red player with Frenzy, because I had Shalai on the battlefield and they cast Via Shino. And they were at one life. <laughs> With them being the only target. That's a that is a good win. Thanks, Lion Tamer. I am twenty-one. Not looking so good for us here. Oh, I'm sorry, Softball Wolf. Did you try here? Did you try go going through that link maybe? Again, want to just get Hostage Shaker out of here in case of a fine finality. I don't want them to be able to get back Hostage Shaker from the graveyard also. Because that's a, it's a difficult card for me to beat. He stole a gutter snipe with Angrath and killed them by ne negating my own lava coil. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> yep, you drew your one copies of Ixalan's Binding against rats in Singleton. Hmm. 
So they have a cast down for Phoenix. So the problem with attacking there is if with the branch walker is if our opponent has cast down for Phoenix, um, as soon as I'm blocking, they just they just cast down the Phoenix, kill it, make the egg token, block with Judith, uh, have the trigger, uh, kill the one one. Yeah, Judith, that's the thing. It's like, it doesn't look like Judith would be, like, amazing in our deck. But it's just kind of annoying against a whole lot of cards. Including against Phoenix. And it's just been, it's just been good for us. Their hostage taker was not so good, though. Them taking Judith. These Sultai decks all playing hostage taker these days. Instead of, um... Them all playing hostage takers instead of chupacabras is kind of worse. Alright, good. No. No, uh, cast down. I should have done this pre-combat. We could just we could have just drawn like a Judith and it was probably going to die anyway. and potentially kill them. Our mana is not bad though. Correct. So yeah, they they could not target the the egg there because they have to they have to put the targets like all those the the egg trigger and the Judith triggers they all go on the stack at the same time. So to place it on the stack, you have to choose a target. So you have to you have to place it on the stack to choose a target, and since that's just going on the stack at the same time the egg target is going on, the egg's not on the not in play yet. It's just going to be on the stack as well. All right, three and zero. Oh. Good job, Jund. All right, softball, take care. Softball wolf. Love you too. Thanks, QQ image. Yeah, I've been 21 for a while. This is my 12th year in a row turning 21. Ooh. Don't like seeing Fanatical Firebrand with our with this opening hand. I think I like Branch Walker here more than Incubation Druid. Cool, now let's go with Judith. It costs us two life again, though. So even if they kill Judith, we get to kill a Firebrand.
And then I'll go Jade Light next turn. What? Why didn't you sacrifice your Firebrand opponent? You could have sacrificed one. Aw, QQ, gifting out a sub to Vampyrix. Thank you so much, QQ. Santa Q's. So many shots. Sub number 42. made the cat deck at 71 cards. I didn't want to discriminate against any good cats. Uh, I dropped black though because they're the bad cats. <laughs> hey, burly man. Big time birthday cake. Thanks so much, burly man. Taking away that top spot. That top tier spot. All right, sideboard time. Moment. Contempt. Lebrontodon. Uh, dresses. Reaper out. Um, can't really play these things. I guess I'm just taking out Ravage Worm. Frasca. Those cards are better than Vivian's, though. Maybe I can still play Frasca. Frasca can kill people quickly. Um, do I want... Do I want Find Finality? Do I want Trophy? No, I don't think I want Find Finality. Maybe one Find over one Frasca? Ah, uh, Angrath. Angrath's the way to go. Yeah, Angrath is actually pretty good against Mono Red. I, I agree. Let's go with this. All right, that was some good cake. Thanks, Nimbus. Uh, this hand's close. Aw, thank you, QQ. QQ getting in that second place spot there on the leaderboard. So shocking into cast duress is, you know, basically makes the duress kind of do nothing because like we're trying to take like a three damage spell with duress, and if we shock for that, you know, then we're not really doing a whole lot. So we'll wait on the duress. Puppy, puppy's in the other room. He came in. Hawkeye is back here. He's just laying down against the, against there. Hawkeye, are you mad at me because I didn't give you cake? You should be mad. Here, come here, Hawkeye. 
He's like staring at me like he's he's not too happy that I didn't give him cake. You don't you don't ever I don't ever give you cake. I never give you people food. Teamkin's just such a big problem. Well, at least if one Steamkin is a real big problem, they have a second. I couldn't really beat the Lightning Strike, which is why I took it, but I can't really beat a Flame Account either, to be honest, so I can't really beat anything right now with, a, with our poor draw. Okay, at least they attacked in here, so we get to trade. Come on, something good. Alright, I'll take a JR. All the lands. <laughs> All the lands. I think we're getting our first loss here with Jund. Do we have a sweeper we could draw? Do we have like a ritual of such or something like that? I don't think we do. Oh, these things are going to deal so much damage. We need them to draw a land here. We cannot, cannot afford for them to draw a spell. And then I chump lock with Jade Light Ranger and go to seven. If they have nothing. I mean, if they have a spell, I'm dead. That's a spell. That that actually just, this is just lethal here. Because that's going to do six, that's going to do six. Uh, and that's going to do three. Oh, actually, they have another spell in the graveyard that pumps those up even more. So yeah, that's lethal. Even with me moment of craving the Lava Runner. Because of the third chapter of Flame McKeldon. <laughs> Alright, 3 1. Five win dreams still alive. Just gotta get the next two.
Let's see. Am I coiling this thing or am I playing Druid? I think I'm gonna play Druid. No friend of mine fights alone. I will lend you my strength. Hmm. That kind of makes me want to play Coil on this thing, but no. No, let's wait. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go Judith. Um, incubation Druid, a 1-2, and attack. Lash out all you want. And then we have Reaper plus Coil next turn. Look how far you have come. Do they have nothing else but down. lands? Like, what else they got? Maybe they just have, like, Tristani? Kind of expecting, like, you know, a five mana spell. Be strong. Sphinxes are cats too. <laughs> hey, say moi! Getting the gifted sub from DJ Polly B. Santa DJ Polly B. Santa Polly B is right in there. Thank you, Otis, for the birthday wishes. Let's get that, some hype in the channel for Santa Polly B gifting out another sub. Forty-three and eight. We're gonna have another twelve-hour stream soon. Um. <laughs> okay, so we saw a Johnny, Jade Light Ranger, and Landwar Elf. That's all we saw. Get Angrath Contempt over the two trophies. And that's it. I could I I certainly expect I'm gonna get rid of a finality, I think. I I certainly expect them to be like an angel deck. So let's get this other Vivian in. Also. Yeah. Yep, you get to have both Vraskas on the battlefield at the same time because they have Different names. This hand's just not going to do anything. Never Helm of the Host a Rakdos Showstopper? Because in hilarity ensues? That sounds like a, a great reason to do that. Aw, uh, Techstar gifting a sub to the Ninja Otters. Thank you, Santa Techstar. Baffling end. So many gifted subs today. 
most of these subs are gifted subs. Because y'all are awesome. Hmm. Carnage Tyrant, huh? Let come to me. Alright. I think you got us here, opponent. I think you got us. I don't have one, Squatchy. How am I gonna deal with this Carnage Tyrant? So much of balance comes. I don't know. Pink Monkey Man with the brand new sub. Let's get some hype in the channel for Pink Monkey Man. Thank you so much for that support. I've Our seen new things sub, that that's would sub number 45. Like you. Ooh, just realized it is going to be pack time. Tracking a pack after this match. Getting to our next sub goal. Ooh. Now we're getting started. Meet my newest friend. All right, so Ravager Worm can, I don't know, attack a Vivian. Uh, we have to draw Contempt here for, for Vivian. Oh, uh, thanks, Hogs. Come to me. Hmm. Draw contempt. Nope. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Nope. And they just get to ultimate Vivian and yeah. Thanks, Zephyrs. Huh. Carnage Tyrant, you say? Well, seeing all these Tristanis, I want this extra finality. Um, Probably should have Trophy in. Deal with the Planeswalker like that. No, I don't think we need it. No, Spyglass doesn't really have very good targets. I guess they have a Johnny also. I mean, if I just have Spyglass named Vivian, I just shut down my own Vivian. That's not a good idea. So yeah, that one won't work. It's really Carnage Tyrant. I have nothing for. I'm gonna bring in the extra finality over a Vivian. We just need to have seven card hands. You know, last time we had a five card hand. We were very, very fast onto the battlefield. I like our seven card hand here. It's not like, you know, it's not like our best hand or anything, but it's, it's doable. Killed someone today from 20 to 0 with Kaya. That is awesome. 
Good job. That's an achievement unlocked right there. Come on, land. This is so sad. Let's not have a land in our first three cards. That's why we play 26 lands. I mean, we have 26 lands in this deck, so that this stuff hopefully doesn't happen. Don't have a Johnny. Don't just curve like that. Okay, well... That's still tough. That's gonna hurt. Uh, I haven't made the Naya Monsters deck list yet. We're going to make that together here um, on stream after after this league. Um, Gatsby donated for that one, just saying that once we're playing a Nikia deck with, like, you know, a bunch of creatures and Zakama. So we're, we're making it all the way up to Zakama. So we... Um, that's about all we have for the, the deck request. This is nothing. Yeah, I could have contempt their walker, but then I'm, I'm not really doing very much on the battlefield if I just contempt their walker. Where I liked having, I liked playing the Vivian there because, you know, if we untap with Vivian, we get to. Uh, you know, just kind of continually find lands and everything, and, you know, Vivian can, can start getting us some value. Um, yeah, I was hoping they didn't have yet another removal spell with their one card left, but they did. It, they had a baffling end. Because, remember, with, with, the, with the Judith in play, the Branch Walker is a 4-2. Um, and then the 4-2 gets to... The 4 2 trades with the back. Wild Growth Walker. Just like before.
All right. No, 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 no. Fucking auto tap. Are you kidding me? Auto tap. We actually had a chance. We actually had like a good chance here. It wasn't like a good chance. That's too late. I went too far. Yeah, decline decline wouldn't do it. We went too far. Undo didn't work. We went too far. So if we Okay, so what would have happened there is we put the counters on Honestly, actually we really did not have a chance. Now that I think okay, we didn't have a chance. Um, so we would have put the counters on Druid, gave all the creatures minus four, minus four. The Judith dies, the Judith pings the Wild Growth Walker, so the Wild Growth Walker dies also. So everything on their side would have died except for Carnage Tyrant. Um, and our Druid would have stayed alive. But the Druid would have been... So I was thinking the Druid would be a 6-7 because, you know, it said it was a 4-5 and then it would get plus 2, plus 2. But it would not have actually been a 6-7 because with the Judith dying, uh, it... Re it it uh, loses that extra point of power. So it would have been a 5-7. So we would have still... Incubation Druid still would have just chump locked the um, Carnage Tyrant. So we would not have been able to trade with Carnage Tyrant. So in our deck, we have no answers to Carnage Tyrant. Uh, we are going to die the next turn to the Carnage Tyrant. Like, there was nothing... There's nothing I could have drawn um, the next turn uh, with with our hand of being Contempt, Contempt. Um... Because even if we drew, like, a find to get, like, Phoenix and Branchwalker back, I didn't have the mana to cast Phoenix and Branchwalker with that, so. So there's there's nothing I could have drawn the next turn. So we, we would have just died the next turn. Because, yeah. Well, Ravager Worm? Yeah, Ravager Worm's still only a 5-6. So no, Ravager Worm would, have, would not have killed. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done to kill a, t a Tyrant the next turn. Oh, I had a druid in hand. Oh, I forgot I had the druid in hand. I had the two, so I could have just dropped the other druid, block with the druid, go to one. Status statue is kind of interesting with Judith because it's still just statues a, a fine card. Yeah, we just don't have anything to, to deal with Carnage Tyrant. And honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's something that it's like, hey, we need to add a bunch of cards in. We need to add some cards in so we have things to deal with Carnage Tyrant. I think that, like, Carnage Tyrant's just not a very popular card at all. And, you know, if you run into it, just hope they don't have it two out of the three games. Our opponent had it two out of the three games. Um, no, I definitely do not think it's worth running, like, a Detection Tower or anything like that. Um I don't think that's worth it. Um, yeah, I, th I think you just try try to hope to have creatures out to block. You know, like if you have like, a, you know, just like a couple creatures out to be able to block it. It's just not. Current Tyrant's just not a very big part of the metagame, and it's not something to to build your deck around. Um, and we just have two creatures, like just, you know, like two branch walkers can block a carnage tyrant if like the branch walkers are three twos, you know, two of those can, or so on. Phoenix is pretty good against carnage tyrant, so on Phoenix plus any, any other creature and the Phoenix comes back kind of thing. I, mean, I think you just do that. Um... As far as the deck goes, it it performed pretty well overall. I am 
I'm not sold about Ravager Worm. I'm not sure if we ever, like, wanted a Ravager Worm too much. Um, we did want Planeswalkers all the time. I kind of think the Vraska Relic Seeker is better than Ravager Worm in this kind of deck. And maybe we just wanted a second Vraska Relic Seeker. I mean, the Planeswalkers are just all always awesome, but I kind of say that every time I play these these decks. Um, I like Spogari Queen. Vivian's obviously great. Um, hey, Pickle Slick. Thank you so much for that support there, Pickle Slick, with that Twitch Prime sub. Um, so yeah, there we go. So thanks, J-Jack, for the donation there. The donation deck. And... That's it for Jund Midrange. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.